everybody, this is Sheets, and to cap off the uh, slate previews for tonight's uh, what's it, three different slates in the NFL involving the two Monday night games, we're going to do it the showdown slate for the Minnesota Philly game. For those of you who are watching this uh, out of order, or in order, I guess, um, I do encourage you to watch the breakdown of the other two slates, that being the two-game classic slate, which pairs this game with the Buffalo game, and the Buffalo Tennessee showdown slate uh, as well. But this is just going to be approaching the Minnesota Philly game showdown slate. Uh, we're going to talk about the plays, talk about the game script, talk about construction. And then what we're going to do is we're going to run a Saber Sim build as well to see if that reflects what we wanted to do. Um, and if not, why not? And, and we'll talk about that as well. For those of you that watch the uh, other slate preview I just did for the showdown slate, you'll notice that what I came up with as logical does not even almost represent the Saber Sim build that, that was generated. So it's the way it, the way it is sometimes. Uh, I will say that and this is going to be seem weird, but when there's a real stark difference between what you're getting when you do a Saber Sim build and what you think is instinctively right, you should probably go with the Saber Sim build. And that's just, just my own experience, my own opinion. Uh, I have no proof of that except for results, but uh, I have a feeling I know why. I mean, because the fact is, it's that if something is such an easy story to tell when it comes to stocks or stocks or anything, it's probably the same story that a lot of people are telling. So when you want to build a lineup that's somewhat unique with upside, that's not everybody's going to play, there are they are just going to look a little bit awkward. You know, they're, they're usually not going to represent the type of game script that is kind of easy to come up with. And quite honestly, I mean, I found it very easy to come up with the game script that I did for that Buffalo game. Um, and likewise, I'm, I'm pretty confident in what, what's going to happen in this Minnesota Philly game. I'm confident. Listen, in showdown slates, you just have to, in my opinion, take a take a take some kind of a stand on what, what you want to do and how you want to approach it. Now, I do think the game script uh, construction is a little overrated, um, that people sometimes get a little bit too kooky with it, but it's certainly not not the worst idea in the world. I mean, it makes too much sense. Um let, let's let's take a look at the plays, I guess. Uh, but but I, I will say that this game does rate to put a, have a lot of points. <laughs> I think it's going to be a, a really, really good game, a really close game. And, you know, the skill position guys are going to really dominate. I don't think this is going to be the the slate for the for the two hundred dollar uh, Jack Stoll to come in, for example, or the two hundred dollar Noah to guy to to get in there, you know, or the Britton Covey or the Trey Sermon or the illustrious Kene and Wangwu. I don't think it's going to be a day for Ben Ellison at 600. Wow. Jalen Rieger's down at 200. CJ Ham is at 800. These are, these are guys, Josh Naylor, no Jalen, Jalen Naylor at 200. I don't think it's going to be the day for these guys either. That's not to say this can't be a day for Johnny Munt or a day for Boston Scott, you know, or a day for Kez Watkins, but we'll get to that. I do think that there's a day for, for the good players. So let's, 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 uh, let's talk about who they are. So first of all, this should come as no surprise, but probably the best play on the board is going to be Jalen Hurts. Uh, he's, you know, he's, he's got the rushing upside, which is really a big deal, for, especially for showdown. He's going to be 700,000% owned, but I shouldn't, I, you know, I shouldn't say that because there are a lot, you know what? There are a lot of skill position guys that people are going to want to play. So it's not just so easy to play Jalen Hurts. Um, and and it's, not that, it's not that easy to play him. Also, people might not want to. People might, maybe would get want to get Jefferson and Thielen and Cousins in the same lineup and have an A.J. Brown. And now all of a sudden, you know, hey, I'd rather have that than the Jalen Hurts. I don't know. Jalen Hurts does rate for me to be the best play, and he also rates to be 77% on. So it's, uh, you know, that's the way showdown works. But again, it doesn't mean just because we have good plays that we're going to play them. And it doesn't mean that they're going to fit lineup construction because, again, we're going to do some funny business. We're going to leave money on the table. We're going to um, – you know, maybe set up stacks in a certain way. We'll, we'll talk about that a little bit later as we get to the actual builds. Um, and then you have, at least the way I'm ranking these guys, 
you get Justin Jefferson and um and Kirk Cousins as the next guys. But 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 this is what's cool about this slate. I mean, once you do this, if you felt like doing this, you already got a little bit of a problem. You already are just kind of wanting to get that Kenny and Gamu play or the Trey Sermon or the Britton Covey or the or or the Jack Stoll, you know, you're already like, whoa, I'm already down to 3,200 a man. So that's what kind of make this uh this uh this build kind of cool is that if you do this, I mean you could do it, but you're running out of guys. <laughs> um who's the ne who's next on the list? So let's let's get these these dudes out first. Now let's let's then the next the next group. So the next group I have like four of them. Cook, AJ Brown, Devontae Smith, and 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 Thielen. Um, and they're all gonna be high owned. But I have to say that I think what you're just supposed to do is just just take the lowest price, one of them, so you can get as many of them in, maybe. Maybe a Devontae Smith, as opposed to maybe AJ Brown. I mean, Devontae Smith is literally half the price. Of AJ Brown, and he could score half the points, but Devontae Smith is talented. I mean, you know what I mean? Like he didn't do it last week, but I mean, he was a, he was a big play dude last year. And I don't know. I mean, I think that his uh, if I had to pick between one of them, I'd probably just go for for Devontae Smith for the price. Um, and he's probably going to be lower owned, I imagine. So I do prefer him. I mean, I prefer AJ Brown, right? But but I think that for 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 construction reasons, I think. Devontae Smith is what you want to do. And I think likewise, you know, Adam Thielen, who, look, Justin Jefferson is obviously the alpha there, but I mean, Adam Thielen's still no joke, you know, and, and at one, not half the ownership, but maybe two thirds the ownership of Justin Jefferson, I definitely think that he's in play. Um, and then you have the, the, the next kind of guy and the final guy in that skill position group is Dallas Goddard. Um, so, it may not seem too fancy, but these are the guys that are going to dominate most of the, most of the offense. Okay. And to get too carried away with, 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 with the Ben Ellison's and the Britton Kobe's and the, you know, some of the other dudes, who's the other guys I forgot. Uh, and the, hold on, the, the Bill C. Johnson's and the Blake Proles and Brian Kobach and, Nick Muse, Thomas Hennigan, Travis Chavone, Tristan Jackson, Ty Chandler, Auden Tate, Dalton Keene, Deion Kane. Some of these guys might actually be on the team. Most of them aren't, but don't play guys that aren't on the team. But I know people are going to play like all these guys eventually <laughs> a little bit. But I think in this game, I just think that the, the regular dudes are just going to just score so many points that even if you get there with one of these, one of those hoodoos, you're um it's gonna to be tough for you. But the one thing I will say is that if you do want to get more than these three guys in, you are gonna to have to put someone else at the cap. Okay. Because they do punish you for play, you know, for 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 spending up. So you're probably gonna to have to do something like, you know, play where is he? Where's Devontae Smith? Well, you put Devontae Smith in the captain. Um then you could get, you know, another couple of hoodoos in here. Then you could get Hertz, Smith, and you could probably get like a, a Jefferson, you know? I mean, pretty easily and make that work. And then you could even, you probably get Cousins, then you only have to go one hoodoo. Um, and I got one for you, by the way. We'll get to that in a second. I mentioned Jack Stoll. There's another guy I want to do a little research on. He's actually a good player. Um I don't know what why he's I guess he's just uh, out of the rotation here, but um I guess we'll get to that in a minute. The hoodoos will be a separate, separate discussion. So I think what you want to do is is maybe avoid the 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 guys that are that are just below these. Maybe these guys are gonna be the over owns, you know, the guys like the Kenneth Gainwell, maybe or the KJ Osborne or even the kicker, you know, Craig, Greg Joseph or, or Miles Sanders or whatever it is like, or, or Jake Elliott. I mean, you think you would need those for salary savings, but I just, again, I just, I just feel as though these, these top guys are going to make, 
are just going to make too much of the fantasy points. You know, I don't think that you want to spend 8K for Miles Sanders. Um, I guess TJ T. Osborne, KJ Osborne makes a little bit of sense to get to the, and he, but he's going to be 35% owned. I mean, I, I don't need to do that. Um, I think Irv Smith at what I'm seeing as 8% ownership is pretty interesting. Um, what was he just ignored last week? Is that the story? Only two targets. I mean, he was expected to to do something, but then again, Johnny. See here, here. See here's here's the coach. He came off the bench while Johnny Mudd got the start, and he said, "I missed a lot of camp, and they didn't want to rush him." So this, I think, okay. So this is a play. This is something you could do. I mean, if this ownership is actually the case, like eight percent. This is something you can do. As a matter of fact, that something you could do i mean you put irv smith in the captain then now 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 we're getting somewhere now we can do something i mean i think i think this irv smith play is like almost elite you know because people expected something of him last week i think got ownership last week and they just didn't they just didn't didn't do it for him because and he's just saying that he missed camp um which is why this is happening i believe it and so maybe this this week it's time Maybe it's Irv Smith time, and I could. This is this is this is a cool stand to take, like the Irv Smith stand, because um, if you do it, then you don't have to play Noah Tagoyle. You know, you don't have to play. Uh, um, Grant Cal- Calcaterra. I mean, much I love. I'd love to play Grant Calcaterra and Jan Sisnia and Nick Muse and Britton Kobe and Trey Sermon, Ben Ellison, Kenny Naguanu, Tyree Jackson, and Thomas Hennigan. I'd much prefer to play Irv Smith um, and be able to play like some of these secondary guys. Um, so the one guy I did want to research a little bit, first of all, I think that the, the that, that the Johnny Munt play is still viable just in case, you know, Irv Smith is full of crap and it really is Johnny Munt's like starting position. Uh, you get a starting position, you get a starting Johnny Munt in 2K, like, and he's actually the top guy. Then, then that's going to be a really good play. But then these other guys, like two other guys, I want to talk about. One is really cheap. Um, he just always seems to do it on the showdown slates, and that would be Boston Scott. Okay, um, did he get a touchdown last week? He did get a touchdown last week. Four rushes, ten yards, one touchdown. But he's capable of more than that. You know, he's very explosive. Those those few games I think it was last year, the year before, where, where Miles Sanders was out, like Boston Scott, like really, really, really did a number on the opposing defenses. So I think he's very, very legit uh, at twenty eight hundred. And the other guy, I just want to do a little bit of homework on him because Zach Pascal was good on Indianapolis, but you know, one target. What was his snaps? Um, 13 targets and 10, 13. Uh, he was only in, he was on the field for just 17 snaps. That's not going to be enough. That's a shame though. I mean, but look, keep, keep on a look at him. Anybody's out. I think Pascal, that, that could be an interesting play. So again, before we, we let Saberson do its thing, I think the key here for me is, is going to be the Irv Smith play. I mean, the Irv Smith is going to open up quite a bit. Um, and maybe avoid the Miles Sanders, KJ Osborne, Kenneth Gainwell range. You know, um, I'm seeing a projection for Alex Madison, uh, of like six fantasy points. And for showdown, you got to pay attention to that. I guess it's possible, but I just, I don't think I'm going to do it. Now let's take a look and see what, um, what Saberson will do. So I've already preloaded the true DFS projections in here. And all I'm going to do is I'm just, I'm not going to make any adjustments. I'm not going to make any leans. I'm just going to build. What am I going to build? 150. Let's build 50 lineups with just letting Saberson do its thing. Should I set a max salary? Yeah, let's do that. Let's set a max salary on this particular card. Actually, let's not do it now. Let's let's just leave it at 49.9. And then let's see what 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 it comes up with. And I wonder if it's going to be any different. I mean, it's obviously going to be different. I wonder how much Irv Smith they get. I wonder how much – I wonder who's the nuts in this build. I wonder if they give me 
Ben Ellison, Jalen Naylor. Let's see what we got. So actually, in the captain, I see some Devontae Smith, which which I had an instinct that was going to be the case, right? But you're getting some Kenneth Gainwell in the captain. Kez Watkins is the, in the captain. In, in the flex, just kind of your regular guys. But what's interesting to me is that I'm not getting any Irv Smith. I'm getting only 6% Irv Smith. I think that's – I'm just going to be – I apologize, Saberson, but I am calling bullshit on that take. Um, I, am, I am going to be on that one. Um, so then I would just kind of upload these and just, just, you know, what, you know, what I could do in a situation like this, I could just go, all right, well, you don't, you don't like that. How about this? How about I just, I just, I just take Irv Smith and jam it right in your throat. And then I just go 50% Irv Smith. What are you going to do about that? Yeah. What are you going to do? Didn't do anything. Right. As a matter of fact, it's so mad at you. You know what I might do? You know what I might, do? I might jam 15% or at least 10% Irv Smith and the captain. Can I do that? Is that legal? Certainly looks that way, right? So you, you can do that. You know, this is, listen, this is America. Last I checked. This is America. And you can go ahead and, 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 and tell Saberson to go, go take a hike, you know? Um, so, okay. I think that's, uh, I'm just going to save some lives. I'm, not, I'm going to save some lives. Um, and I guess that's going to do it for, for at least the initial look of the, uh, the initial look of the showdown slate. What I'm going to be doing is I will get to, um, I will get, uh, we'll, we're going to be going live at what's five, I'm going to say 640. Yeah. At like 640, I'm getting some of the stole guy, whatever it is. These aren't actually what I'm playing, but I just want to preserve want to reserve a line up here. I want to make sure to reserve one with Irv Smith just so I can, just, just so I don't, uh, just so I don't forget it. Um, so we're going to go live at about 540 so that we can do the baseball and then we can do both this, these football games. And uh, that will do it. Good luck, everybody.